Can I recreate Mario vs. Donkey Kong inside of Mario Maker? Today, I'm making every demo level and cutscene for you to rate at the end. I start by playing through the Mario vs. Donkey Kong demo and type up my ideas. Seeing as the entire game has different mechanics, this might be impossible. The biggest problem is getting Mario to play like he does in Mario vs. Donkey Kong. He can stand on enemies or items and pick them up without getting hurt. I create a course in the Super Mario World game style, but it doesn't feel quite right. When Mario tries to stand on enemies, he just bonks them around. But wait, I have a better idea. In the Super Mario Bros. game style, one simple power-up can solve all our problems. The Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom gives Mario the power to stand on enemies and items and pick them up just like in Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I start building the rest of the first room outline with semi-solid platforms and blocks when I hit a new obstacle. In Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Mario can jump on buttons to switch between red and blue blocks. In our current level in Mario Maker 2, Mario can only switch the blocks by smashing his brain into an on-off switch. I remember something. Icicles have an underused property that can help us here. If Mario steps on top of an icicle, it will crash down and activate a block below. I overlap the top of an icicle with a one-way wall so Mario can't accidentally fall through. I'm making progress, but the single icicle switches between red and blue, where in Mario vs. Donkey Kong, a single switch is for a single color. I look for a way to stop the switch after it's already been triggered. I come up with the idea to add a red or blue block in between the icicle and the on-off switch, so Mario can only activate it a single time before moving to the other one. Our color switch buttons are up and running, but how can I make the key work like it's supposed to? Mario vs. Donkey Kong makes Mario lift the key above his head and carry it to the door. But Mario Maker 2 just lets the key follow Mario around without him doing anything. I have an idea to use a POW block as the key and cover the door with brick blocks. Mario will throw the POW to destroy the blocks and move through, except it doesn't actually work that way. I really want Mario to carry the POW as the key, so instead of brick blocks, I place a muncher above the door so Mario can't pass through until he throws the POW to destroy it. Now that we have a key system in place, let's tackle presents next. I decide to use the pink key coins, but end up scrapping and replacing them with big coins to work better with multiple rooms per level. To make each present feel like the different colors, I use a 10, 30, and 50 coin in each level. I start polishing up the first area when I realize it's hard to see the whole room at once. To fix this problem, I add a ceiling and scroll stop the room so that the camera can't go too far upward. I add custom auto scroll to immediately move the camera up when the level starts, and now Mario can see the whole area at once. My next project is to recreate this blue block ladder. Mario Maker 2 doesn't have on-off ladders, so I have to get creative. I place a platform on an on-off track that drops it down onto regular tracks. The platform only falls when Mario triggers the on-off switch the first time, which is exactly what we want. In the next room, Shy Guys and Trash Cans are waiting to be recreated. Because Mario Maker 2 doesn't have Shy Guys as enemies, I have to go through all the possible enemies that will be the most similar. I start by using a Goomba, but remember he can just walk off edges, unlike these Shy Guys who just turn around. So, the classic enemy that I choose that can't fall off, and coincidentally has some red on it, is the Red-Shelled Koopa Troopa. To make Trash Cans, I have a really exciting idea to use Chain Chomp Stumps. I use a little contraption to make a bob -omb explode and destroy the Chain Chomp enemy while leaving behind just the stump. Mario is able to pick up and throw those stumps just like trash cans from Mario vs. Donkey Kong, but there's one big difference. The stumps in this game can't hurt enemies when Mario throws them. I come up with a workaround to have a Goomba stand on another Goomba so it can't move, but Mario can still pick it up and throw it without taking damage. It's also super satisfying to be able to use one Goomba to destroy multiple enemies at once. Mario vs. Donkey Kong uses these cute little toy Marios as the end goal of each course. We need Mario to touch the flagpole to beat the level, so instead of the mini Mario at the end, I use a key door and a key. Now when Mario gets to that area, he can finish the level and move on. In the next course, I need our trash cans to be stationary platforms that drop down for Mario. I put our stumps inside of red two-state blocks and cover the floor with spike traps. My icicle on-off contraption can trigger the blocks to disappear and drop the stumps to create a pathway for Mario. Mario vs. Donkey Kong uses special question blocks to share tips with the player. In my version, I'm adding regular question blocks and then adding a custom comment after I play through the level so future players can see the tip. The wires are a beast to make. Mario Maker 2 doesn't have anything that lets Mario spin around and jump up like this. I decide to use a claw as the closest option, and I'm happy with how the gameplay feels. 
When there are two wires, I add tracks to make the claws move to add the timing element. I also take the time to add a little one-up treasure that Mario can devour if he uses his skill. For the ladders in this room, I suddenly realize that vines exist. I place a vine in between two tracks that Mario can grab and move up and down just like the ladders. I start on level three and everything's moving really smoothly. But in the second room, I come across a super hammer and oil barrel. I have no idea how to recreate these. The oil can burn Mario, so I have to find something similar. After thinking through all the fire elements, I decide to use burners on tracks as they can float up and down and look as close to the oil barrel as possible. The best part about the super hammer is being able to destroy everything in your path. So what causes the most destruction? A superstar. I place the star on top of tracks that are shaped like a hammer and let Mario obliterate everything. I add a key door and a key at the top and make Mario face off against the Shy Guy Koopas. I have a feeling because this level was easy to make, the next one's gonna be brutal. Starting on level four is super overwhelming. Mario guides his little toy friends to collect letters and he has to make them jump into a treasure chest at the end. Mario Maker 2 Story Mode has a similar concept where you can rescue toads and lead them to the end, but Nintendo knew that would make my job too easy, so they did not include that in the course editor. I try an idea with the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom. I experiment with the ground night theme, which makes the little fungus jump whenever Mario does. It's close, but it doesn't quite follow Mario's movement like the mini Marios do. Then I decide that Monty Moles could be a perfect solution. The moles follow Mario's movement well, but now I need them to be able to collect things for Mario. I want Monty Moles to collect key coins in place of the letters, but nothing I do seems to work. Getting them to run through the key coins doesn't work. Placing key coins inside of note blocks doesn't work. Contraptions that drop different items to try to collect the key coins don't work. I'm feeling pretty defeated. This idea might just be impossible for Mario Maker 2. I think of one more option before I'm gonna give up. I turn to the best Mario Maker creator I know, Pike. I explain what I'm trying to do and ask for his help. After a lot of back and forth, we come up with a solution. In Mario Maker 2, you can add clear conditions to your level, so Mario must finish a bonus objective before he can clear the course. In this case, instead of key coins, we can just have the Monty Moles collect regular coins from the note blocks. By setting the clear condition to collect all coins in the level, Mario must guide the Monty Moles to step on each note block before he can finish the course. I redesign the course and make a separate area for the Monty Moles. Mario needs to trigger the on-off blocks to open pathways for the Mole Man. He moves left and right to guide them the direction he wants them to go. I also make sure that at least one Monty needs to make it to the end by making a little treasure box. The mole must step on the note block to get the key for Mario so he can move through the door and complete the course. The levels might be done, but there's still one crucial thing to recreate. One of the best parts about playing the demo is the cutscene at the beginning. You might be thinking, but doesn't the whole cutscene feature Donkey Kong? How are you gonna do it when Donkey Kong isn't in Mario Maker 2? Well, my juicy brain has an idea. I dig through the cobwebs to find an abandoned treasure, the only tool that will work for this job. I dust it off to uncover the Wii U with Mario Maker 1. I boot it up for the first time in years and get to work. Mario Maker 1 has a unique power-up called the Mystery Mushroom. This fungus gives Mario different costumes that change his appearance and animations, but don't change anything else. So, using this, I'm able to make Donkey Kong a playable character and I can build parts of the cutscene to put it together. I mess around with Donkey Kong's moves to see what expressions I can get from his animations. I start creating the scenes one clip at a time, but instead of spoiling it, it's time to show you the entire demo in action. Buckle up, and don't forget to give my recreation a rating out of 10 in the comments. Without further ado, the full demo of Mario vs. Donkey Kong recreated inside of Mario Maker. Mini Mario toy, hurry, bye. Mmm, bananas. Mmm. Mini Mario toy, it walks, it talks, it says, Mania. Each one comes in its own crystal ball. Collect one, collect them all. Be the first one on your block to own the amazing new Mini Mario toy. Hurry, before they're all sold out. Hurry, buy one, buy them all. Buy them all. Buy them all. Buy them all. <laughs>
Here we go! Let's go! 
Oh, these guys. To see how I recreated Mario Wonder inside of Mario Maker 2, click on the video on screen now. Please subscribe so Nintendo will hire me. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.